Well, you know, Onika makes us laugh because mm-hmm. she's a comedian. Mm-hmm. And that leads us to our next topic about another comedian. And this person in question is Marlon Wayans. He recently mm-hmm. had an interview where he had a few words for people on social media. They're trigger fingers or Twitter fingers. I like to call them Twitter fingers. He said <laughs> trigger fingers. Um, you know, they seem to get amped up in the negative fashion about jokes, which is causing um, mm-hmm. a cancel culture. Quote right. unquote. In comedy. So Nika, as the resident comedian here and yeah. rising star, mm-hmm. what are your thoughts about this recent phenomenon about comedians getting canceled and how it's being escalated through social media? It's stifling the community. It's really sad that that's happening because what comedy is supposed to be is a mirror reflection of society. And that sometimes mm-hmm. blemishes and ugly and not so, you know, we have to be able to look at it deeply and then ultimately laugh at it right Mm -hmm. because laugh at my pain people laugh at you know pain right it has to be true so i think that i think just just this whole culture and it's never going to change so we just have to figure something better out have so much to say about everything like you you don't even need to talk to me in my face and tell me what you think you could just be in your little twin Mm -hmm. size bed and tell me how you can rule the world and well, that's it's the media. thing too. That's the thing too. It amplifies. So one person says it, then the other person says it, and the other person, and it creates this whole echo chamber. Yeah. Right. So, so then, what are we? Tough. So what's going to happen? Everything's going to be politi- politically correct while everything's going to hell in a handbasket. Hmm. You, you know what yeah, I'm yeah. trying to say? Yeah. So, yeah. so now you're going to just create a culture that everything looks right on the surface. Well, that's why we got Donald Trump too, right? Because he didn't. He wasn't about political correctness, and it was all about he tells it like it is and all that stuff. You know, it, it does create a backlash when people feel like, you know, we can't express what we really want to express. Right. It comes out in more like, destructive tell me how, rate Tell ways. me how you really feel. You know what I'm trying to yeah. say? I'd rather right. an honest, harsh person than someone that just, like, softs me down and lies. Right, just, right. I mean, I, then I have to lick my wounds and have to just figure out maybe how to do better, because that's what comedy does then let's not even talk about it and pretend like it's not there. But you know what, I remember, for example, when um, Dave Chappelle came back, Mm -hmm. like came back into comedy, and he did this whole show, and one of the parts of the show was he was talking about trans people, Uh and he was like, whatever, they are, he, she, or something Mm -hmm. like that. Uh And so it wasn't very uplifting to trans people, the trans community, and there was a backlash. But it's like, what do you you think about that? Someone is going to be the butt of the joke. If we're going to talk about the topic, right? Let's say this. Lots of trans women, women of color in particular, are getting killed. And so they're saying... A lot of babies are getting killed. A lot of women are getting killed. A lot of men are getting killed. It's not about comedy. Because comedy only opens up the dialogue for it. They were going to get killed because of hate. 